Number four, show by a suitable net ionic equation that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry acid, and then we have letter C out of the bunch. So in this case, we just need to write an equation showing that H2S is a bronsted Lowry acid. Now, just as a little information here, two scientists, Bronsted and Lowry, both independently came up with the same idea about what acids do in liquid water media. And what do they do, you ask? Well, they donate a hydrogen ion, or in this case, a hydrogen ion is known as hydronium. We're going to be going much in depth of hydronium and hydroxide a little bit later in the chapter. But if they're going to donate a hydronium or an H plus ion, that means that they had to have it in the beginning. And generally speaking, if you do see H's in the front of your compound, it's going to be an acid. So I see that I have two hydrogens. Specifically, it's in the front, so it's totally an acid. And now I wrote down everything that we need to know to follow this little net ionic scheme here. If you want to turn your acid into its conjugate base, all you have to do is two things. The acid will lose one of its hydrogens, and because of that, you're going to be subtracting one from the total charge. So let's get to it. We have H2S, and since we're doing a net ionic equation, we need a, a state, and it's acid and bases, so that's always a Q. H2S is not one of my six strong acids, so it's going to be an equilibrium. And now one of the hydrogens is going to get lost. That's why you always you know, say plus H plus because this is one of the hydrogens that's going to get lost from here. So instead of being H2, how many hydrogens are now left? Yeah, you only got one hydrogen left. And that's how you fill in the base. You just write down everything that's left over. So I just have one H and one S. And let me just make that a little bit more prettier. There we go. And you see how collectively the elements are the same. I have two hydrogens on the left side, one, two hydrogens on the right side. I got one S and I got one S, but now the charges have to be the same. So that's why you minus one from the overall charge. In the beginning, there was no charge in the upper right hand corner. So that was a zero. So I come over here now, zero minus one, you're minusing one from your original charge. Zero minus one is a negative one, or I could just put a negative here. And I'll just say that this is all cool aqueous. And that's it. We are done. This is your balanced net ionic equation to show that H2S is a bronsted Lowry acid. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to help us out, please tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool YouTube service exists. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Thank you so much. I truly do appreciate all you guys. And I hope you do well in your tests and quizzes. See you later. Bye-bye.